Okay, there we are. <laughs> All right. Let's try to see. Yeah, try to adjust my levels here and get everything situated the way I like it. Because I want to always make sure I have my camera angles in the way that I want them. So, hey, hope everybody's doing well on this Monday evening here. Um, we are in the sanctuary of Teen Motivation. Yay! Doing our promised live broadcast um, as we have started Vision 2018. So, um, I just want to kind of review a little bit. So, we did a video yesterday. It was the special edition of our self-love sermon on the Coach Roz page. And if you need a reminder, just to let you know, I am Allison Rozelle, also known as Coach Roz. So, um, so yesterday I did my um, live video my, my uh, self-love sermon as I do every Sunday evening at 7 um, and we kind of just talked about why I started the Vision 2018 campaign and I'm kind of noticing in the air that a lot of other coaches are doing something kind of similar too so I think it's this is something that's it's kind of awakening if you will um, because I just feel like 2018, and I believe it's the number eight that's really speaking to me um, in 2000, for 2018 because, you know, when you turn eight on its side, that's the infinity sign. So, yay for infinity. So, that's a very divine number, um, the number eight. And if you want to go on a biblical sense, um, I remember during, I believe it was with the story of Joseph, where they had seven years of famine and then seven years of plenty of harvest. So that lets me know that if I've, if you or my, and I me mean too, <laughs> if we've had seven years of famine on that eighth year, on that eighth year, that's going to start the years of plenty. So, yeah, it's harvest time. That eight, that infinity, that all of that energy is ripe for the taking for all of us. So, yay, that's why this is so important to me um, for us to put a vision with 2018. Because like I said in the video yesterday, and if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. I've, I've posted it. In Team Motivation, it's also on the Coach Rise page, and it's also on my YouTube channel. And I also po posted, yeah, I posted my blog post, and it's on the bottom of that. So you can't say that you don't know where that video is, because I got you hooked up <laughs> with the video. So you can find it. But go back and watch it. And, you know, even if you saw it and you wanted to just go back and re-watch it, maybe it was some things on there that you kind of wanted to, you know, take a look at and meditate on, feel free. So, as I said, we I'll speak for me. Been flying by the seat of my pants. Been doing the Make-A-Wish campaign of taking that ball of my life in all my wishes and dreams and I toss it up in the air and as gravity dictates what goes up must come down but if you have a ball and you just throw it up in the air what's it gonna do it's gonna come down but then it's gonna just either roll or bounce in a whole di different direction because you have no control over it it's gonna do what a ball does it just rolls and then it'll pick up speed and momentum especially if it's going down a hill of any kind or any kind of incline so I've been doing that with my life and I know a lot of people have been doing that too so that's why I was like you know what because of the vision that I have for myself for next year that has been shown to me definitively shown to me um, 
it's so great. It's so wonderful. It's so juicy. It's so abundant that I'm like, you know what? I'm Coach Ross and I have my team. I have my tribe. I have my peeps. I had to do a little adjusting there because I was wondering why is it so low? I'm just, yeah. So I have you guys and, and I want you to come with me. I want you to come with me and um, enjoy this and and be a part of it. So that's why I came up with doing the Vision 2018. Another part as to why is when I was doing my Let's Talk Chakra series last week, it was very interesting because, and I was explaining this to another, um, to a friend of mine, I actually, as I was explaining and teaching these things, I was actually doing the exercises of um, to unblock your chakras because I wanted to know, do I have any blockage? Is there any imbalance for me? And in a couple of places I did fine, but the one that was very strong that I, I didn't even realize was blocked was my third eye. So when I was meditating, when I was thinking, when I was thinking about, you know, plans for um, next year and how I want to really just go forth in the new year, the color blue, uh, the color indigo blue, was really, really strong and really powerful. And it just came to the forefront. And then the energy here... I just started to just really feel something um, that I, I just, I can't explain. But if we would just review for a moment, your third eye chakra does rule your vision, your intuition. And a lot of times intuition and vision go hand in hand because we don't trust our intuition a lot of times. A lot of times our intuition is telling us like um, yesterday, for instance, I was hosting an open house because, um, you know, for those that don't know, I'm a real estate agent as well. So I have both businesses and I'm, I'm passionate about doing both. So when I'm at this uh, open house, a woman was there and she was there with her son. Her son was actually the one looking at the house and she was there, you know, as mom. And she was just asking me questions about being a real estate agent. And what I told her was, I said, a lot of people have a misconception that, number one, it's easy. And number two, um, you're going to make all this money and it's just you're going to have business on top of business on top of business. And money is going to fall in your lap. And that is a huge misconception. And I told her with the kind of work that you do as a real estate agent, you have to have a certain amount of drive, a certain amount of patience. You have to love people. You have to love service. Um, I said, so I'm just going to tell you, if this is not a passion, don't do it. Because to be in that business, it's a very expensive business. And I would hate for you to spend so much money every month, every year, for what you have to keep up with to have that business. And you don't love it. Don't do it if you don't, if it's not in you. And then what I told her was, you need to trust that thing that's been inside of you and telling you what you're supposed to be doing. You've been ignoring it. You're saying, I can't make any money off that. Or that just doesn't make sense. Who's going to listen to me do when doing that? Or whatever you've been telling yourself. You're ignoring it. And when she left and she thanked me for talking to her and she said somebody else had said something similar to her. It got me thinking. I was like, that is so on time with this 2018, Vision 2018 movement that we're going to be doing from now till the end of December. So that's what I want to talk to you about is trust your intuition. 
trust it. It's there for a purpose. God gave us that divine way to know. It's that little tingly, like your spidey senses are tingling. There's something within you that you're supposed to be doing. Never mind, you know, I say this all the time. I don't think everybody is supposed to be a business owner. I don't. But I do know every one of us has special gifts and talents and skills that are supposed to be used. And a lot of us aren't utilizing them. They're just not. We're just not. So that's why I wanted to do the 2018, the Vision 2018 rather. I wanted to do that because I believe when you tap into that power and you start trusting your intuition, when you are led by the divine to touch the crown of your head and the energy goes into your third eye of vision and then it goes into your throat chakra where you speak your truth, and in your heart chakra, you feel love and passion for your gift. And down into your navel chakra. And then down in your sacral chakra where all those creative juices start flowing. Because the sacral chakra and the third eye work together. It's, it's for real, for real, they work together. Because the vision is here, the creativity to bring it to fruition is in your sacral chakra and in your root chakra that's your foundation that you're gonna build you are gonna have to go through and rebuild some of that foundation my lovely some of those things that you've been taught you're gonna have to unlearn it and it's hard it's so hard to unlearn all those things that we've been taught that are I won't say wrong but just maybe not for you and it's no one's fault. The people who raised us, they did the best that they could with what they knew. And the people that raised them did the best they could with what they knew, so on and so forth. So a lot of it is generational stuff that you're going to have to undo. So that's why I had definitely done this the chakra series because I want you to unblock so you can clear the energy within you. So you can start to hear God. So you can get the guidance that you need. So your spirit connects to the spirit. And then you can have the joyful, beautiful, juicy, wonderful, blissful, abundant life that you deserve. That we deserve, right? So, that's why Vision 2018 is so important. It just is. It's so important. And I want you all to get this. I really do. And I want us to get there together. And we will. Okay? So, here's what I want you to do. If you have not downloaded your worksheets, do it. More importantly, this is how I would do it. Because I did a similar um, challenge last year it was with another coach but it kind of got the juices flowing which led me into the coach that I, that I hired that I have which got me to this point but we'll talk about that in a minute but here's how I would do and how I'm doing mine print out the worksheets print them in color because your mind we're triggered by things, right? Most of us are visual. And with the way that we are now with all the social media, you know, videos everywhere and all this other stuff, the brighter the color, the fancier the gadget and everything else, we see it with our eyes first. So that's why I'm saying print it out. Take the time to print the sheets out. I mean, it's only four. <laughs> it's only four. So it's not like it's going to, like, jam up your printer or anything like that. It's just four pages. But print it and get yourself a binder. Get yourself a binder. It doesn't have to be a fancy binder. It could be any kind of binder. But what I would do is I would take, because I'm going to do it and I'm going to show it to you that I did it, right? Take the cover page 
and put it on the front of the binder because it has the little sleeve part that you can open up and you can put something in there. Do that. And then when you open it up, have those other three sheets in there. But in between the sheets, in between the sheets, <laughs> get you some notebook paper and put that in the binder. Because I want you to section it off, right? I want you to section it off so you can write. This is about journaling. This is about strategizing. This is about revitalizing some things. This is going to be your evolutionary, revolutionary ta um, binder for your 2018. Doesn't that sound magical and exciting, right? So get you a binder. Or if you don't want to get a binder, get like... Um, those folders that have the prongs in them. I think they're called prongs. If they're not, excuse me for speaking incorrectly, but the three pronged. Um, but you you want to have some type of folder where you can keep them all together. Because I know we're in a digital age, but I feel like when you can physically hold something in your hand and you can see it and go to it, pick it up. Like I have my handy dandy um journal. I bought this at Five Below store. It's kind of like Dollar Tree, but everything is um, $5 and less. And I love that store. I can stay in there forever. But I found this and I love it. It's got a dream catcher on there. It's got little sparklies on there. And it just really speaks to me. And it's got little pages. And, you know, I've written stuff in it. And this is where I write down my ideas for like my um, self-love sermons and sometimes blog ideas, but I have a, a digital way to keep up with those. But these, this is generally where I write out my self-love sermons in my handy dandy book here. And I love this thing. I'm about to get another one because this one's going to get full soon. <laughs> but that's what I do. I'm a visual person. I'm a notebook whore. I'll just say it that way. I love notebooks, spiral notebooks. Um, journal books I, I love stuff like that because I like to write things out and I recognize that not everybody does that so if you're not a person that generally does that that's fine but for this this one time just so you can get the full effect of it get yourself a, a, a binder or a three prong uh, folder and then get yourself some notebook paper because, you know, you're going to be writing. You may scratch some stuff out. You may be, you know, change some things or whatever. But we're going to fill this binder with your words, right? Of how you're going to do things. How you feel about certain things, right? So that's how that's going to work. And like I say, I'm going to put mine together tomorrow. Because I, I had a binder and it's kind of old and I realized I was like this is not going to work so I'm just going to get another binder and it's going to be nice and pretty and put together and everything else so I'm going to show it to you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video okay promise scouts on her <laughs> I will show it so that's what I'm going to do and that's what I'm wanting you to do so that way we can all be on one accord together and go through this together so, let's dive in. First, I want to show you something. So, I talked about the number eight and the significance of number eight, right? So, for the past few days or so, the number 11 keeps coming up in some way, shape, or form. Like, um... In the group that I belong to with my coach, uh, Facebook group, uh, she had a giveaway for the 1,111th person that joined the group. So it was 11-11. And then someone posted something and it also had the number 11 in it. So I, I never take anything as just coincidence. You know, coincidence to me is not something that is it exists but I don't think it's that often so what I did is what I always do when I start seeing a number over and over and over again I start 
with my affirmation cards and um, I saw some more affirmation cards that I'm gonna buy but I love these affirmation cards they are the African Goddess affirmation cards by Abiola Abrams um, they have beautiful um, affirmations on them and pictures and, and things like that and I've pulled before on the coach Rise page but I did 11 so what had so what had happened was when I was pulling my cards when I was shuffling my deck a card fell out and anytime a card falls out keep that card because that card is saying hey look at me you need to see me because I got something to tell you so I pulled it aside and then after I got to my 11th shuffle I pulled from the top sometimes I pulled from the bottom but this time I pulled from the top and I'm gonna show you the card that I pulled and I'm gonna read it to you and then we'll get started um, on some other stuff but I'm going to post these because um, it's probably backwards <laughs> on your side. But I'm going to post a picture of them so you can see them and read them and everything else. So the first one, this is the one that I actually pulled, not the one that fell out. This one is the one that got pulled. And it's so divine because it's blue. Oh my God, blue. And I'm I'm really thinking that my Coach Ra's colors are, colors are going to definitely have blue. Because I haven't picked what colors I really want to go with for my page and for my marketing and everything else. But I think blue is really talking to me. So, blue. Oh my God. So, let me read you. This is the Goddess of the Sky. And the affirmation on the card says... It feels good to know my own strength. And I thought, how beautiful for me to have this to share because of the vision 2018. Yes, it feels good to know my own strength. And the lesson on the card says, do you know how powerful you are? What if you gave up the need to control your world and everyone in it? We can only fly when we give up our attachment to certainty and leap into life's possibilities. Surrender to this thought with the nerve of Asi, Asis, Ya. Gyanin, goddess of power. And I know I'm messing up that but I'll post it so you can see it but this one is awesome I thought that was beautiful now this is the card that jumped it out at me and like hey you're not gonna miss me because you need to hear this so this one is the one that jumped out there we go and this one is really funny because it has colors of both the root and sacral chakra and that totally goes with also the beliefs, creativity, you know, our root, you know, and limiting beliefs. And uh, it's just so divine. The universe works magically, y'all. So for this one, this is Goddess of the Feast. I trust in the process of life. Do you keep your promises to yourself? Vision 2018. Do you keep your promises to yourself. What if you have faith in your own promises? Keeping your word to yourself, establishing your personal integrity and how much you can believe in your own word. Claim this thought with the unconditional faith of Ahia Nanjuko the Igbu goddess of yams. So I'm going to post that. And I thought these were so on time and powerful. And so significant to what we're doing. Because it is time for you to trust your own word. For you to trust your intuition. For you to tap into that power. So that you can have that beautiful, abundant life that you've always wanted. Because see, yeah, we can have 
a wonderful 2018, but I want 2018 to be just the beginning of your new abundant life. That's what I want. And abundance means money. That's why I broke it down in the categories, finance, business, and career. That could be money. Abundance can be abundant health. It could be abundance in a deeper spiritual life. Abundance of love from friendships and family relationships and a great social life. Abundance of knowledge and wisdom. So whatever abundance is to you. Now me, I want it all, right? So that's why I broke it down into all these categories. So let's go over this really quickly because I want to be aware of your time. I don't want to take too much of your time, but this is important. And I, I really want to talk about these things. So let's go through the workbook real quick, okay? So the first things first, we're going to talk about what we accomplished this year. So um, like I said on the other video, I think it's important for you to focus on things that you you did, that you, you got. You know, so the first category, finance, business, and career. Well, for me, the accomplishment that I had is I started Coach Ross. Yay! You know, I started my blog last year, but that was just, I was just going to be a blogger. I wasn't going to do anything else, just blog. But now, Coach Ross was birthed into the earth. So I feel good about that. I accomplished that. So I got it started. So that's an accomplishment for me. Health and well-being. Well, even though... I was diagnosed with my uterine fibroids and high blood pressure and anemia and all those things that I've talked about before. What got accomplished is I was able to go to the doctor to go and be diagnosed and not carry that burden anymore of wondering what's wrong with my body. Um, and then it gave me a direction as to what I want to do and what I need to do so I can take better care of my temple. So that is an accomplishment in my sight, even though I was hit with that. But I can't deny the fact that the knowledge of knowing that what's going on in my body and what I can do about it, that, that right there, that's an accomplishment to me. Spirituality. Um, I did have some spiritual revelations about myself of what I believe, what I truly believe, what I hold dear to me. Um, and me living the spiritual life, making the decision that my spiritual life is mine and I choose to live it the way I want to live it, the way that is more aligned with my spirit and not based on how anyone else feels that I need to be. That's my, my accomplishment. Social life and relationships. Didn't really accomplish much here. I didn't accomplish as much, but in the relationships, I did build relationships in the sister circles that I belong to. So I have built some relationships. Now's the time to nourish them. And um, yeah, but as far as having social life, I didn't do as much this year as I probably should have, but you know, that's fine. That's a goal. <laughs> Education and training. Well, I did go back to school, so that was an accomplishment. Um, and I enrolled in certain classes to help me get my businesses in order. So, yeah, that's an accomplishment. So that's what I'm talking about. What did you accomplish? It could be very little. It could be, you know, I did a video sometime back of celebrating your victories, no matter how small they are. I mean, a victory is, vic is a victory. A win is a win. You know, so celebrate it. Um, because we do enough of the next page. <laughs> we do the ne enough of the next page. So on the next page, what don't I like about my life right now? And this is a point for honesty. Not for you to use it to beat yourself up. I want you to be honest. I want you to just take a look at what you're doing in each category right now that you don't like. And you don't you you know you don't like it. 
I'll go through mine, finance, business, and career. Um, I, you know, want to make more money. I want to be financially independent and not have to go to a nine to five anymore because I still do and I don't want to anymore. That's a goal, right? Um, so what I don't like is I still have a nine to five and it's interfering with my two businesses, right? I don't like that um, health and well-being that I um, gained a little of my weight back. But I know it was medically related, but I still don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. Um, spirituality, I want a deeper connection and I just, you know, I'm not really disappointed in anything in that right now. So that's what I'm saying. If it's something that maybe you're cool with it, you know, if it's not something that you just really don't like, then you can leave it blank. That's fine. But just be honest. Just be honest. Social life. Um, I don't have one. I don't like that. I don't like that I don't really have a social life. Relationships. Um, I don't like that... Um, I don't have a social life and I don't have a lot of, well, I don't have to have a lot of friends, but you know, people who are like-minded like me that I can truly call friend. Um, cause I've, I've had to let some friends go, you know, they weren't willing to grow and they didn't want to go where I'm going. So I had to bid them adieu. Love them. I love them from a distance, um, which is painful which was a painful thing. So I don't like that I had to do that, but sometimes it's just necessary. And then education and training, I don't like that I still don't have my degree. <laughs> Taking care of that, but I don't like it. Um, so yeah. So again, the second page, the second part of that, it's not for you to go through and beat yourself up about it. It's not for you to sit up and be like, Oh, my life sucks. Oh, I'm not doing anything right and everything else. Because when you start getting too far gone on that, go back to the other page and look at what you've accomplished. So that way you don't stay in that state of mind. Because again, the second page is so you can shine a light on what you don't want anymore, what you don't like. So you can come up with the correct plan for your life and get in alignment for your life and not keep just doing these little general asinine resolutions that don't come to fruition at all. I mean, have you ever had a resolution that ever, that you actually kept? Cause I don't think I ever have. Honestly, I don't think I've ever kept a new year's resolution. They're just, they're stupid. Cause most of them are, are emotional decisions. So we're not going to do that anymore. So now we go off to the juicy, abundant year. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick every category and just write what you want. For now, just write out what you want. What is it in your finances, business, career that you want? And again, I recognize the fact that the spaces is not that much. That's why I said, get you some notebook paper. And you write down that category and you brainstorm what it is. Go back to the, what you, you said you don't like. So if you said you don't like that right now your credit is bad, then this is the part where you say, okay, well, I'm going to clean up my credit. I'm going to get savings. I'm going to go after that promotion that I wanted. I'm going to start my business or I've, gonna take my business to another level if you've already got one right break it down health and well-being i want to lose 100 pounds that's mine yeah i do i want to lose 100 pounds write down health and well-being what it means to you you may not want to lose weight you may just say you know what I just want to eat better so I can feel better. And if I lose weight with that, great. Chances are you probably will. But yeah. Or I want to get more exercise. Or I need to start going to the doctor more. Yeah, that's a big one. 
I need to start going to the doctor more. I need to start, um, uh, oh, I need to go to therapy maybe. You know, mental health, that's a big part of your overall health. I want you to know that. Um, so health and well-being, you know, what is it? What do you want? Go back to what it is you don't like about what your health and well-being. Like, I don't like that I have high blood pressure. Thus, why I want to lose the weight. Because I want to get rid of some of this stuff. I don't want to take that anymore. I don't want to take medication for that stuff. So your health and well-being. Your spirituality. You know, what do you want? Do you want a deeper connection with God? Do you want a deeper connection with self? Yeah, that's spiritual. Do you want a, a deeper connection with your significant other on a spiritual level? Um, what is it that you want? Write it down. Social life and relationships, same thing. What is it that you don't like? Then if you don't like it, then write that down as something that you want to get done. Or it may not be something that's really important for you, but still, just write it down that you want to get that done. And then you will work out the other part later and then same thing with education and training okay so that's pretty much the gist of how we want to do that so here's what you can expect this week I'm gonna go live every day until Friday and then like I said we're gonna be talking about this pretty much till the end of the month because I want us to ring in the new year together not um Literally, because <laughs> I know everybody has plans that they probably do on New Year's Eve, and that's fine. But I mean, I want us to bring it in together where we're all saying, okay, this is what we have. This is what we're doing. This is how we're going to live. And we just go through it together. You know, it's all great when we all go together. So this week, every day, I'm going to be posting, um, doing live videos. Tomorrow's video may not be this long, but this one is the introductory to get us all started, right? Um, some of the videos that I do may be extremely short. We may just get on here and meditate. Meditate on some affirmations or clear chakra um, energy or whatever um, spirit leads me to do. But we'll do that. Um, I'll also be posting inspirational posts, informational links, um, and just so much more. So, uh, tomorrow we're going to go through each category. We're going to start tomorrow with the finances and career and business. You know, we're going to get down to business tomorrow. So tomorrow's live video and the things that I post are going to be pertaining to finance, business, career, etc. Now, some of the information may not be my own information. Some of it may be something that I may find interesting that, you know, might give you kind of an FYI. Because sometimes, you know, you do need to outsource and, and find information to be able to know, okay, well, maybe that's the approach I need to take or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do. But we are going to talk about it live um, at 7. Also, please, please, please take the survey. So that way I can know and I can better service you guys. I can better serve you. Because this week I'm doing live videos all week. Next week I think I'm only going to do it maybe like on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. I haven't made up my mind yet of how I want to do it because I know self-love sermon on the Coach Rise page is going to happen on Sunday regardless. But for the group, I want to make sure that I hold up my end of doing exclusive videos just for you guys so that we can talk, so that we can get um, ourselves ready for 2018. Okay, So that's how I am going to do this. And I'm open for any suggestions or any topics. If there's something that you really feel that we need to discuss, um, I'm open for that. Also, if you know any women who could use this type of support and inspiration and motivation, you can add them. You can feel free to add them. You don't have to wait on me to... Um, 
post something for somebody to want to in, be a part of it. If you know someone that could probably use this kind of support, add them. They're, that's perfectly fine with me. Um, I just ask that these are women that are spiritual and not non-spiritual. Because I am a spiritual person, so I do talk about God. I am a spiritual being. I talk about prayer. So I need some need you to, if you're going to add them, they need to fit into our circle, basically. Okay? So, um, that's basically all I have for you guys tonight. So, again, tomorrow we'll, we'll start talking about finance, um, career, and business. And then the next day we'll move on to health and well-being. But don't again think that we're only going to do it this week because like I say all for the rest of the month we're going to get this done so you guys my goal is by the end of this month we're going to have some plans in place yes yes 2018 is going to be fabulous for all of us it's going to be wonderful it's going to be magical and I can't wait to get those posts in the middle of the year, the end of the year to say, yay, I got this done. I got this accomplished. Yes, I'm doing this. And thank you for all the support and love. And I, I just can't wait for those. I love those because I want to celebrate with you because I'm going to be posting my accomplishments because I want y'all to be celebrating with me too. All right. So that's all I got. I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, like I said, this is not going to go on YouTube. This is just a conversation between us girls here. So, um, again, add someone to the group if you feel like they can benefit from it. I have no problem with that. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.